Mike here, and if you copied the funnel, if you had me copy Mike here, if you had me copy the funnel into your Binaural account, I just want to show you what you need to modify on your pages to insert your affiliate ID, make sure the redirect link is going to the proper place, and then change. Um, Add an email address in the terms of service and the disclaimer, I believe it is. So I'm in my uh, back office here. And so once you get to your back office, you want to go into the Cheetah Drag and Drop Site Builder. So I'm going to, what well, you can see here that I dropped this into this account. I'm going to publish this just right away here. And there's a couple of reasons I'm going to do that. One is I just want you to see the site. So if we go to the website here, we've got our main page. And then when people click on get your free account, then it does this pop up. And we need to change uh, some information in this pop-up. Also, we've got uh, privacy policy and terms of service. And I believe those are the, yeah, we need to add an email address in here. So you'll want to do that. Another page that I want to look at is the thank you page. Let's go back here. We'll edit the site. And this is the thank you page. So we'll go here to that page. And then here I've got a quick video that tells how you can make money giving away free sites. I would encourage you to do your own video. I'm sure it would be much better than what I've done here. And then here people can request the funnel to be sent to them. We'll need to make some changes to this. And then that's pretty much it. So first of all, I'm going to open Notepad here because we're going to need to copy some information into Notepad so we can refer to it later. First of all, we are on our thank you page and we need to copy this URL. Okay, and then another piece of information we're going to need is we need your affiliate ID. And you can get that by coming over here to account, and then you'll see ID right here. So I'm going to copy that and paste that into Notepad. Okay, now let's go back to our beta builder here. So first of all, we're going to modify our pop-up. Now the pop-up is a global element in the site. So make sure you're at the site and then pop-ups. There's only one pop-up for our free account. So we're going to edit that pop-up. And that will open our form. Okay, so we want to click on the form. And you'll see the blue area that's highlighted. After we have selected that form, we want to click on Set Fields. Okay, now we go to Fields, and you'll see a, a set of fields here. Uh, we want to modify this Cadastro AID. And in that, we want to put the affiliate value that we had just gotten off of our dashboard and then save. Another thing that you might want to do is change this cadastral origin and put some sort of value in here. That way when this, when somebody signs up to this, this form, you will know what magic funnel, what, what form they came from. So I'm not going to change that right now, but yeah, that's all we need. Oh, one more thing we need to do is we need the action URL. Now, this is where we want to send people after they sign up to the form. And 
there's this long link that's pretty hard to put together, but Builderall has created this little tool for us to be able to create that. So we're going to do that. So we're going to go down here to Link Generator, and we want the Magic Funnel link. We're going to register people on the free plan. You can choose to give yourself Cheetah access or not. I am doing that and I spell that out on the form so that if they need help setting up their form, I can help them with that. So I'm going to select that. And then what URL do we want to use? We want to send them to our thank you page. So we paste that in there, get our link, we copy that, we go back to our pop-up page and we want to paste that link in here. Oh, it closed on me. Let me open that again. Okay, and then we will save. And then we will save. Okay, so we've put our affiliate ID in here. We redirected this to the proper page. So that page is done. You might want to change the name here, which is easy to do. Just double click in, get to the text editor, change it, change the title here. Uh, you can change your image here by selecting it, right click, and then go over here to general settings. And here you can change the image. So you can go to the image library and then you can select a file, upload it, and then choose it to change your image. But we're not going to do that. Okay, that's done. So now let's go back home. And yeah, we'll save and exit. Save as your friend. Um, and then we need to modify this page because if you if you're using this page, you don't have to use this page. You can send them directly to uh, a Builderall page or the Builderall main site even. But if you want to use this page to allow people to ask for the form and it's also got some videos on some introduction introductory videos and things and you can change all of that you can change all of that um we still have a video here i need to update uh, but anyway so um on this page zero There's, see, it says slider page zero. Okay, there's this request form. And if you right click on that, click the gear, you need to change this email address. And I'm just going to change it right now to some non existent address. But you need, if you want to use this form and you want to be notified when people have requested the form, then you will fill this out. And you can change the subject. Um, I put a statement in there, please give me 24 hours because it might take me a while to get to it. And then you can just save that. I've got the form, uh, this form on this page in two different sliders. I've got it in slider page zero and slider page four. But we've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. But now you know how to do it. And then also make sure that you go to the terms page. And put in your email address. Yeah, so that's my email. That shouldn't be in here. Okay. And that is really all you need to do. So make sure you save everything.
that's fine okay and then what we can do is we can go to the website let me close some of this okay so we're at the website and let's just uh, make sure that our disclaimer page works it does privacy works it does close that close that In terms of use it works okay now let's go to our pop-up get your free account okay my name is I'll just use me and um, and then get my free account. And it's redirecting to our thank you page with our affiliate ID. So all is working well. Another thing that we can look at is we can go back here and go to affiliates. Um, that's interesting. <clears throat> oh, so what just happened there is I signed up for a free account. And so it took me to this free account and logged me out of the account that I was in. That's why you want to do your testing in an incognito window. So that was my bad. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website. I'm going to copy that and we're going to go to a new incognito window and we are going to then this time more mark And we go to the right page. Okay. Now we need to go back here. And I need to make sure I'm logged into the right account here. So I'm going to log out of this account. <clears throat> Go into the original account where I just modified a funnel. And go to affiliates. Leads. Let's see, we've got two leads. <laughs> and here you will see where I filled out the, t the form twice. Once as Mike, once as Mark. And you can see that it came from this free funnel of originator, origination, the uh, cadastral origine. Okay. And once you've tested that, then you know that your funnel is ready to go and just um, get it out there. Again, if you need to know the link that you're going to send people to, go to your Cheetah Builder. Click on the three dots. Go to the website.
and then this will be the URL that you want to spread around. All right, hope that makes sense, and we will talk later.